continuing our discussion on asymptotic analysis of running time of our, our algorithm today we will study about big theta notation so in our previous two lesson we have already seen a uh, big o notation and big omega notation so big o notation was a upper bound on the running time of algorithm big uh, omega notation was a lower bound so big theta notation naturally is a tighter bound on the running time and it's uh, gives you a tight bound that it should the running time should lie within some tight bound so if let's say the running time was something like this and you want to estimate an upper bound uh, you can think of it like a function like this so if this is uh, let's say uh, n then you will say that this running time is big o of n but anything you take greater than this maybe a quadratic function maybe uh, it was just a linear function but if you take a quadratic function it will also be uh, bigger than this one for all the values of n bigger than some n0 if you take a cubic function it will also be bigger for positive values of n so it does not give you a tighter bound similarly in the case of big omega notation so this function is smaller this is also smaller this is also further smaller so it's not kind of tight bound so big theta tries to give you a much more accurate estimate so your running time precisely lies between some bound and these two functions should be same so you see we are talking about big theta of gn so gn is some function such that if you multiply gn by some constant c1 then it will be the upper bound if you multiply by another constant another positive positive constant it will be lower bound so this gn can act as both upper bound and lower bound that is this gn and uh, as mentioned earlier we will denote running time with fn and we are trying to find estimate big omega whether this fn is big omega of gn or not big o of gn or not big theta of gn or not so if gn uh, if uh, fn is big omega of gn as well as big o of gn that is just need to find two constants c1 and c2 such that c1 gn is always more than running time and c2 gn is always less than or equal to running time after some certain input size n0 and input size we always take as positive so this is the effectively the same thing that we are seeing here so find two positive constants even c2 multiply by some estimated gn this is less than fn the running time and also more than the running time so it's a tighter bound then we say that fn is big theta of gn now let's take the same examples that we saw earlier so let's say our function is a linear function fn equal to 5n plus 4 its plot is like this one and this is here 4 so uh, let's say the constants are uh, 5 and 5 or you can take 6 also the upper one so if you take 6 uh, then uh, the function will be 6n so if you plot it it will be for 0 it's 0 for 2 it will be 12 for 4 it will be 24 for 10 it will be 60 that is here so you get a function like this this is 6n or rather c1n and you can also take uh, let's say 4n then it will be its slope will be less than the original running time this is our original running time 6n is more than this 5n 4n is less than this so you get two constants c1 is uh, 6 c2 is 4 so this uh, or i have reversed the order so let's say c2 is the larger one let's be consistent here or c1 is 4 so 4n 
is always less than equal to 5n plus 4 is always less than equal to 6n after some values maybe they intersect somewhere here so this will be n0 you can figure out what is the value of n0 and this is the, not the only constant you can also take 7n and 8n but the thing is that it remains same for both so gn is equal to n and this is fn is big o of n big theta of n big omega of n so this should be same it's not that here you are taking 6n and here you are taking 4n square or n 2 by 3 something like that both functions should be same that is gn so you get the idea in this case the answer was big theta of n similarly let's take the quadratic example its plot is like this one again uh, if you take 6n square it will point like this if you take 3n square it may point like this the thing is that we are always multiplying to the same function that is gn so here gn is n square and this is big o of gn that is big o of n square big uh, theta of n square and big omega of n square so with this we complete our discussion on our different asymptotic analysis there are also uh, different versions of this so everywhere we were writing this big word big o big omega big theta there are also uh, small o small omega and small theta notation i will skip this uh, since these will not be very useful in our practical uh, analysis of uh, running time for different algorithms and uh, uh, i'm uh, reiterating this that we will mostly be using this big o of n square and uh, uh, i have been uh, using the term running time but the same thing uh, will be there for space also so we will also be doing space complexity analysis what space our algorithm takes and there also we will use the same notation big o that whether it takes big o n space whether it takes a constant space or some other value so uh, not just running time but also space so uh, now we will start our actual discussion on uh, data structures and algorithms